This tutorial covers how to set margins and apply section breaks to thesis and dissertation manuscripts in Microsoft Word. The margin is the area between the text and the edge of the page in which there can be no text or content. For the margin requirements, we refer to the graduate thesis and dissertation guidelines. There are a few margins that apply to the entire manuscript. The right is 1 inch, left 1.5 inches, bottom 1 inch, and the page number 3 quarters of an inch. The top margin, on the other hand, varies. It's 1 inch for regular text pages, but for any preliminary page with a title or first page of major divisions such as chapters, appendices, and bibliographies, the top should be 2 inches. First, we apply margins to the entire manuscript. We go to Page Layout, Margins, Custom Margins, Make sure your top for now is set to 1 inch, your bottom to 1 inch, your left to 1.5, and your right to 1 inch. Apply to Whole Document, and then go to the Layout tab. Here's where you set your footer margin, which determines the page number position, 2.75. Again, make sure this applies to Whole Document and click OK. For pages with titles, such as the introduction, we want a 2-inch top margin. However, the reason why we do not simply space down to the 2-inch mark is because it affects the layout of all of the pages following it. See how it has moved my Chapter 2 heading down lower than it needs to be. Therefore, we want to use the 2-inch top margin setting for each one of these title pages. And if you were to simply change the top margin to 2 inches, it will affect the following pages as well. This is why we need section breaks in the manuscript to isolate your 2 inch top margin pages from the pages following it. First, Go to your Home tab on the top ribbon and turn on Hidden Formatting Marks. That's this symbol right here that looks like a backwards P. This will show you where section breaks are in your manuscript. As you can see, I already have inserted a section break between my list of figures and my introduction. There are two types of section breaks that you will use in your manuscript. Go to the Page Layout tab breaks, and under the section break options, the next page and continuous section breaks are the two different versions you will be using. Next page is only for the end of a section, when you are completely done with the content in that section and you want to start clean on a new page with the next section. The continuous section break is used for pages where your text is continuous, such as in the middle of my introduction or in the middle of a chapter. When inserting a continuous section break, I recommend placing it right after your title. That way, you know that it will not be affected by no matter what revisions you may make to your chapter text afterwards. So with your cursor following your title, Go to Page Layout, Breaks, and select Continuous Section Break. Inserting the section break may give you an extra line break. If so, simply move your paragraph text up to delete that extra line break. Now, your chapter title is isolated as its own section and you can apply a different margin setting to it and it will not affect the following pages. So with your cursor on your title, go to Page Layout, Margins, Custom Margins, 
and change your top margin to 2 inches. Apply to this section and click OK. That gives us a 2 inch top margin above our title while the following page still has a 1 inch top margin. And at the end of the chapter, you want to insert a next page section break. This is generally a good idea to do even if you are still revising text in your chapter. That way it will not affect the formatting of all the chapters following. So with your cursor after your last paragraph or your last content of your introduction, go to Page Layout, Breaks, and select the Next Page Section Break. there's any extra line spacing, go ahead and delete that. And now we are ready to apply section breaks to chapter 2. Because this is a title page, we want to apply a 2 inch top margin. We will insert our continuous section break following the title. Put your cursor after the title, go to page layout, breaks, continuous section break. As before, remove the extra line space if needed. Put your cursor back on the title and then go to your margins. Custom margins, change the top margin to 2 inches, apply to this section only, and click OK. Remove any extra space that you may have above that title because you want the title to be right up against the 2 inch top margin. Take a quick look at your line spacing options under the Home tab. Click the arrow to expand the paragraph dialog box and look at your line spacing. If you have any space before paragraph, change this to zero. The reason is, is this will insert extra space in between your title and the top margin, which you do not want. Now we have a true 2 inch top margin above the title. Go to the end of that chapter, place your cursor after the last text in your chapter, and insert a next page section break. Go to page layout tab, breaks, and select next page section break. This method is also used for any preliminary pages with titles. For example, we want to make sure that our title page of the manuscript has a 2 inch top margin. Custom margins, 2 inch top margin apply to this section. Same for the signature page. And your acknowledgments. For the abstract, you want a 2 inch top margin for the first page, but yet if you have text that runs onto a second page, that page, just like your chapters, needs to have a 1 inch. So just like the chapters, we insert a continuous section break following the title, place our cursor back on the title, and then change our top margin to 2 inches. Make sure to follow these same steps for inserting section breaks and applying margins to your table of contents, list of tables, and list of figures, as well as any other section in your manuscript as needed. And this concludes the tutorial on margins and section breaks.